Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, Communities of Color Network, the Louisiana Campaign for Tobacco-Free Louisiana, and Jerry Lane Enterprises. Hello and welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you each Monday night, 7 o'clock, from the End Zone Bar and Daiquiri's located at 6224 Plank Road. Come out, hang out with Coach and I, talk a little Jaguar football. You can catch the show about six times a week on the air. You can also catch it on YouTube at Jaguar Football Show. And um, you, don't have a, you don't have an option to miss the show. Catch it on the air or on the World Wide Web. Coach, great first win of the 2014 season. 56 to 14 over Central Methodist. And from my perspective, I thought it was a great confidence booster for a lot of the players. A lot of players got a lot, a lot of work. A lot of players got a lot of stats. And uh, the Jaguars rolled to 651 yards for the game. What say you, Coach? Well, it was. It was a game to give a lot of young guys a chance to get some reps. We know it's going to be a long season. You know, we got some tougher competition coming ahead and you know just a great win great chance for us to get some confidence and you know just give us a chance to get our record back to one and one and you know one of our goals is the is the win at aw Mumford stadium and defend it each time we go out there and i thought we did a great job of that saturday night well coach we got a lot of highlights to show the people as a lot of great plays were had so let's run to the highlights and and get going Willie Quinn gets the party started with a 56-yard kickoff return. This guy is Mr. Excitement, Coach. Outstanding. You know, I thought he should have stayed outside right there and got a chance to get into the end zone, but he is a definitely electrifying individual. He catches a 14-yarder, and then Malcolm Crockett, the guy we've been waiting to see, the transfer from Pitt, he takes in a touchdown for five yards. That guy is as advertised, Coach. Very good running back. Glad to have him uh, certified and playing for us this year. The uh, Central Methodist Eagles come back and get a touchdown right there, Coach. But then the great thing about the Jaguars, they come to play, and we come back and get a touchdown. Your defense gets stout and really starts to hit the Central Methodist Eagles. Well, yeah, we, st we really settled down. We had a bus, a bus coverage there early. They gave up a big play. But, you know, we got some guys back there that will hit you. I think in the past you might have had one guy. But we got several guys back there now that are, that are striking. It's good to see that as they play going forward. You saw the Jaguars get a safety on the Eagles, and then that's a great hit causing a fumble. Coach, you had a lot of guys flying to the ball. Looks like the energy level and the excitement was up on the bluff. Well, it was, and, you know, we challenged them, especially coming out of halftime, to continue to play with that kind of energy. But we told them they got to take it up another level as we go forward. There you see the Jaguars on the move. Deontay Shorts using his feet. Coach, I was impressed with Short's decision-making in this game. Much better, man. I thought he played a, a flawless football game. Just told him when he's running, he got to protect the football, but did a better job of leading the offense. You saw one of our many running backs, Jamarcus Jarvis, taking it in for a touchdown. And then you see Mike Jones for a nice 24-yarder. Deontay Shorts take one around the right side for 19. Then Crockett for 13. And then Bracken will take one. Coach, it was the Bracken and the Crockett show on the on the uh, running back tandem on uh, Saturday night. Well, and both of those guys are special talent, and you know I think going forward they're gonna really help our running game because we really have we upgraded at running back. We got two guys back there that are separating themselves from the pack, and it's just good to see offense gain confidence as we go forward. You saw Brian McCain, our senior fullback, get a score. Unfortunately, the Eagles got a chance to get a score. Uh, right right before the half, and I, there you saw the halftime score, 36-14. Coach, did you believe that the Jaguars were going to get out that much on the Eagles? Well, you know, I, I think it's once we kicked the ball off and it went 7-7, seven to seven, you know, I, I think we settled down and really started to play football. And like I told our guys, we got to go out and we got to continue to play that way, just keep our foot on the gas, and then once we get it to a point, we'll take it off. But I was pretty pleased with the performance that we had at home. 
more great highlights to show you from the Southern University win over Central Methodist Eagles. Stay with us for the second half in our next segment of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. <laughs> This could be your year with a Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter the second chance drawing by September 15th for a chance to win the Saints Tunnel Team Experience. Make this your year with the Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. doubled the speed of our internet, so we will stream with abandon. We will shop online for colorful duct tape while streaming True Blood on HBO Go and watching random tutorials. Watch the kale, please. We will stream the game. No, we will stream the games. We will watch a bunch of videos about peregrine falcons because they are the fastest animals alive. We are Cox customers. And we are now twice as fast. We are doubling internet speeds. Learn more today at cox.com slash internet. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Champions know adversity. It's coded in their DNA. But when that defining moment arises, champions embrace adversity, then seek to conquer it. We are Jaguars. Scholars. Warriors. Family. Champions. And this, this is Southern. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come, of course, to you from the end zone, Dacres and Bar, located at 6224 Plank Road. Coach and I were just observing everybody enjoying some turkey wings and some good libations, and the uh, feeling is festive tonight. So we'll jump back into the show. Coach, we're up 36-14 at half. What do you tell your team as you come out for the second half? Well, you know, you got to stay motivated and you got to keep your energy up. You got to come out and we were on the playoff fall this third quarter. I think other than a couple of penalties that we had, I really thought it was the best quarter that we played in the football game. And we encouraged those guys to go out and take it to another level and really put this team away. Coach Deontay Shorts, quarterback, 191 yards through the air, 68 on the ground. The transfer from Pitt, Malcolm Crockett, 108 and a touchdown. Tyree Bracken, the young man from White Castle, 125 with a touchdown, and Lenard Tillery, 58 and a touchdown. Your running game is on point. Well, yes, you know, we have about four or five running backs that can carry the ball, and, you know, it's just great, and, you know, we're doing it with them. Really a makeshift offensive line. Coach Barry's doing a great job. He's had a different offensive line every game, and, you know, he's just getting those guys motivated to go out and open up some holes, and they're able to do that. And we got running backs. They don't need much they like once they hit it. We definitely have some guys that can go the distance. A good problem to have. Let's jump back into the second half highlights from the Central Methodist game last weekend. Coach, your defense also came to play. Saw a lot of swarming to the ball, saw a lot of great hits. Uh, here we are back on offense. Another great run by Crockett on defense again. A wonderful hit by Deontay McDuffie. That's how you play football right there, Coach. Exactly. That's exciting. And, then, you know, it should get people out of their seat. And, you know, it's just great to see guys flying around and having fun. I love the way that, that young man McDuffie plays. Here we go, Mr. Excitement, Willie Quinn. 
taking the ball down to the one, and then we plunge it in. Score is 43-14 at this juncture. Coach, right now, are you just trying to get as many people into the game as you can? Well, we wanted to close out the third quarter playing with a lot of confidence and just seeing if our guys will answer the challenge that we gave them at halftime and let's go out and play a dominating third quarter. You saw a great sack, and then you see Shorts hitting his receiver. Uh, Mike Jones takes one up the sideline right here, Coach. Again, a lot of guys got a lot of good work. Willie Quinn's going to catch one and uh, take one for 17 yards right here, Coach. Actually, that's uh, Austin Howard, uh, quarterbacks in the game. Uh, and then here you go. That's uh, Justin Morgan scoring and Yankee. Your kicker came around this game, Coach. He made all his extra points. He's getting better. He's getting better, getting better, you know, and that's great to see from him. I hope he continues to get better. The young man, Tyree Bracken, taking one up the gut for 63 yards. He's going to be exciting to watch this year, Coach. Well, exciting is a good word because he's very fast. He's elusive. He can go the distance. And, you know, Malcolm wears people down, and we got to change the pace back that comes in there. And, you know, it's just great to have Brackens on our football team. We look forward to them guys playing well going down the stretch. 56-14, the Jaguars are victorious over the Central Methodist Eagles. When we come back, we'll talk about my alma mater, the Northwestern State Demons. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. I'm driving all day long, so I need a car that I can rely on in a dealership I can trust. And that's Jerry Lane. It's always been Jerry. Their customer service is outstanding. Jerry Lane keeps me and my family rolling. Always me too. You can count on Jerry Lane. I saw a picture of myself and I couldn't believe that I was that big. Blue Cross helped me with my weight loss journey by providing me with the resources that I needed to live a healthier lifestyle. There's the Blue 365. They offer affordable gym memberships and also they have weight management tools on there. I feel much better. I have a long journey ahead of me, but I feel that I've come a long way as well. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, every week during this segment, we uh, award the Cox Players of the Week, uh, brought to you by the good folks at Cox Communications. Coach, who are the Cox Players of the Week for this week? Well, you know, we had co-players of the week, both offense and defense. I thought some guys did an outstanding job. Offense to go to both running backs, Malcolm Crockett and Tyree Brackens. Uh, defensively, we had Arthur Miley and Deontay McDuffie. And special teams for the second week in a row goes to our snapper who's doing an outstanding job, Okuaku, Ohine Okuaku. I'm glad you could say that name. Yeah. Coach, uh, Joe Dupree caught up with uh, your quarterback, Deontay Shorts. The young man had a, a great game. Got, I'm sure he got his confidence going. And uh, Joe filed this report with Deontay Shorts. <laughs> That's right, Todd. We're here at Mumford Stadium for the home opener as our Southern Jaguars came out victorious 56 to 14 against Central Methodist. One of the stars of the show tonight was Mr. Deontay Shorts. 
sophomore quarterback did his thing. Man, you look great out there. 191 yards, one touchdown, and you also ran for 68 yards. How did it feel to see the offense clicking on all cylinders? Oh, it felt good for a bounce back week, uh, the week we had last week. It just felt good for everybody to be confident and just pick it up and come back out and know what we needed to accomplish. Definitely the team was in an all-out shootout tonight. Next opponent is Northwestern. How do you feel that we're going to handle against them? Uh, Northwestern is a pretty coach, a good coach team. I mean, they're very disciplined. So we just have to go out and execute the game plan and just do what we're coached to do. Understand, the returning swag champions look great tonight. Northwestern, you're next, and you keep it locked right here to the Jaguar Football Show. Thank you, uh, Joe. Thank you, Deontay. Coach, Jaguars win, but the academic certification is still a hot topic on the bluff. Right now, senior guard, I mean, starting guard, Anthony Mosley, linebacker, Daniel Brown, uh, safety Ronaldo Thomas, wide receiver Nico Talbert look to be out for the season along with key linebacker uh, D-Train Lindsey. From a personnel standpoint, that's got to hurt. Well, yeah, it, hurt, it hurt because, you know, the, the guy you just named is a starter on our football team and, you know, we, we got to slow the next guy up, but, you know, I tell people the next guy got to go up and then the next guy got to become a backup. So, you know, you don't have that kind of depth at our level. So, you know, we have to move some people around and, and try to get our guys in the best position as possible. And, you know, we got to stay healthy because, we, you know, that's a big hit. Uh, some of those guys are still pending certification. And, you know, we have to go about as if those guys are not going to be there. So we got to get the guys that are able to practice and compete ready to play. Well, good luck with that certification process, uh, Coach. When we come back, we'll look forward to next weekend's opponent, the Northwestern State Demons. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Could be your year with a Saints scratch up from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter the second chance drawing by September 15th for a chance to win the Saints Tunnel Team Experience. Make this your year with the Saints scratch up from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. doubled the speed of our internet, so we will stream with abandon. We will shop online for colorful duct tape while streaming True Blood on HBO Go and watching random tutorials. Watch the kale, please. We will stream the game. No, we will stream the games. We will watch a bunch of videos about peregrine falcons because they are the fastest animals alive. We are Cox customers. And we are now twice as fast. We are doubling internet speeds. Learn more today at cox.com slash internet. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Come and hang out with us at the End Zone, Daiquiri's and Bar, 6224 Plank Road. Coach, we now turn our attention to the NSU Demons, Northwestern State. Last year they had, our way, they had their way with us, winning 55-14 in Natchitoches, but that's the great thing about the next season. You get a chance to play them again. Coach, talk to us about the Demons. Talk to us about the fact that they're starting this year off 0-2, losing to Missouri State and Baylor. And uh, what do they like to do on offense? What do they like to do on defense? 
Well, you know, it's because this is a different football team from a year ago. They changed both offensive and defensive coordinators, you know, but they still have some of the same players in, uh, in new systems. Uh, their quarterback is still there. Um, Hayden, one of the wide receivers, is still there, who I think is one of the better wide receivers we'll see all year. You know, and they got a good offensive line. So, you know, I think they're, they try to run the football. They try to throw the football. They spread you out. And, you know, defensively, they multiple. They shown some three down. They shown some four down. You know, they show some pressure and they play some zones. So we know we have our hands full. They're a well-coached football team. And we know that this is an in-state game. And this is what you, tra you tra train 365 days for is the opportunity to play against teams in the state. So basically, Coach, what you're saying is the Demons are better than their record show. Well, exactly. You know, they was up 24 to 7 against Missouri. And uh, when they, they came back, let Missouri come back and, and lost that football game. But they dominated for the most part. They just weren't able to finish. And then, of course, they went out to Baylor and played. You know, Baylor's a very good football team. To be on the road playing against them, you know, they got, it got handed to them. But at the end of the day, I think when you look at, look at that football team, you can see the bright spots that they have on that Northwestern football team. Coach, injuries. You just talked about the fact that on the offensive line, you're playing three walk-ons because of this academic issue. Coach, Menard, your wide receiver, is out with a toe injury. Did we incur any other injuries in the Central Methodist game? And give us an update on the injury status of the Jaguars. Well, you know, it's like every week. You know, every week we're, some guys are going down. Uh, we're working on, waiting on a report from two of our linemen to see, you know, how well they'll, they'll be able to go. But at the end of the day, man, it's just a, we're trying to do the best we can to keep the pieces in place. But, you know, we can't afford to get anyone injured or out for a long period of time. We got to get them ready to roll. Very good. The, uh, there you have it. Injuries are a real part of football, and hopefully those Jaguars can get healthy and come back. Coach, good luck with Northwestern, and we'll come back. We'll talk more Southern football on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Promises made, promises kept. Jerry Lane is outstanding. Jerry Lane, it's always been Jerry. Jerry. Service selection, they've got it all. You can count on Jerry Lane. Always be too. You can count on Jerry Lane. One day I was riding my bike and I noticed a little pain that had never been there before. Went straight to the doctor's office and he confirmed it was testicular cancer. Before you get sick, you just have insurance and don't think about it much. The experience we had with Blue Cross was fantastic. Finances are the last thing you want to be thinking about when you're, when you're sick. This whole thing's been going on for about two months, but I'm going to be dealing with it for, you know, a few years now until I get the all clear. Having the Blue Cross ID card in my wallet makes me feel secure, safe, and covered. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, we got a little time in this show. It looks like we had a lot of fun and let the time get by us, but we got a little bit of time. Uh, this weekend, we're asking everybody to come out and wear royal blue. For, so for Jaguar Nation, uh, show your royal blue against the Northwestern State Demons and, uh, and be a part of the, the team. Coach, we got to sell some tickets. Last weekend, 
uh, not a great turnout as far as I was concerned as far as the 2013 SWAC champions. So Jaguar Nation, get out, get to A.W. Mumford, and you can get tickets at 771-3171. The ticket office, of course, is located in the Mini Dome uh, on the, uh, wet, the east side of the Mini Dome. So if you don't know where the Mini Dome is, their number again is 225-771-3171. Buy you some tickets and come out and support the Jaguars. Coach, um, one of the things that always happens during football season is, of course, tailgating and uh, folks coming up on the yard. Tell us how you deal with the student athletes and tailgating. Is there a policy that they can't tailgate even though their family is there having a good time? Well, no, nah, it's just a matter if you got the, the space to tailgate. But, you know, one thing about, you know, our campus, you know, especially probably this weekend, you're going to have people tailgating everywhere. You know, it should be an exciting atmosphere for a college football game. We're at home. I know our student body will be happy about the opportunity of Northwestern coming to campus. And, you know, we just encourage everybody that this is an atmosphere that we want to create. We want to create the same kind of atmosphere that they had when we went up there a year ago. Uh, we wanted to be intimidating, you know, anybody that come in this stadium. We got the kind of fans that we can create some intimidation just by showing our tailgate and showing our spirit and really being loud at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Coach, this year we've got a new band di director, Nathan Hamer, after the legendary Dr. Greggs who passed earlier this year, and then uh, Mr. Ja uh, Jackson who retired, uh, a new young band director, uh, some new energy in the band, uh, have you guys noticed a new energy at halftime uh, in regards to the band and the dancing dolls? Well, no, nah, because at halftime we're usually on the inside trying to <laughs> trying to figure out what's our next step. You know, uh, you know, we get our guys off their feet. You know, we're trying to get them hydrated, get the proper uh, nutrition in them. So, you know, I don't have. I don't really have the time to see, but I know we got one of the best bands in the country, if not the best band in the country, and we're proud of their efforts in, in creating some excitement at A.W. Muffer Stadium. And that's exactly what I meant. I mean, to talk about the new band and to talk about the new director. But uh, you, you answered that question. Coach, uh, again, everyone can catch us on Monday nights here at 7 o'clock at the End Zone, located at 6224 uh, Plank Road. Of course, we invite you to come out. Uh, Susan Shields and her staff do a great job of hosting us. We got a lot of the quarterback club out, a lot of the Jaguar Nation out. Of course, you can catch the show Monday nights at 9 uh, on Cox 4. You can catch the show Saturday at 5 on Cox 4. You can catch the show Wednesday on Cox Sports Television statewide in Baton Rouge. That's Channel 37. And you can catch the show on Pelican Broadcasting. That's Cox 113, Tuesday at 9 and Wednesday at 6.30. But you can also catch the show anytime you want to see it uh, on youtube.com forward slash the Jaguar football show. So we're making the show available to you on the World Wide Web as well as on the air. So you have no, no, no reason not to catch the show. So again, uh, get out this weekend, buy some tickets for the Northwestern State game and support the Jaguars uh, versus the Demons. Coach, uh, I had a great experience at Northwestern State, uh, played a couple of years. When you were at North Carolina A&T, uh, do you ever look back on some of those rivalry games? Because this is one of the rivalry games for Southern. Well, exactly. You know, I think it's a great atmosphere for, for our student athletes to participate in. You know, I think our players are excited about having the opportunity to play at Mumford Stadium against an in-state opponent. And, you know, you don't get that every week, so it ought to be an electrifying atmosphere. And I think our fans need to know how important it is in order for them to be electrified and excited about being at A.W. Mumford Stadium and rooting their Jags on. Well, there you have it. Get out there and support the Jags. Coach? Go, go Jags! Jags.